Hi there, you lovers. You men who are going out there seeking for women. I'm going to give you some more advice on how to win a woman's heart and how to get her into your bed. Now, these days, men have become sort of wussies, you know. They've become sort of indecisive beings. Uh, they want to do what the women suggest, you see. So when they take a woman out, when you take a woman out on a date, you ask her, now you dear, where shall we go to? I don't mind. And the woman says, well, we go there. Oh, that's okay. Or shall we go there? You say, yeah, that's okay too. Or shall we do that? Yeah, that's fine too. Or shall we do, yeah, that's also all right. That meant you should stop immediately. Men, you have to learn one thing. Be a man and be decisive. You know, make up your mind, A, when you're going out on a date, where you are going to, and stick to your guns. Say to the lady, listen here, yeah, we are going to that particular restaurant. If she says, no, I would rather not say, well, I have already booked or reserved a seat there, or I have reserved a table. And besides, you know, the food will be okay if we go there. Hey, you have to be decisive. And decisive means make up your mind. Women love men who can make up their minds. So when you have decided on a date, make up your mind already before. Where are you going to? You make the suggestion. Because one of the worst things you can do, man, is when you are indecisive. Oh, it makes no difference to me. It's me, egal. I don't care. That's the worst thing you can do. First, make up your mind. And then when you go to the restaurant, be decisive as to what you're going to eat. Do not say, well, what do you think, dear? Shall we take this? Or this, or this. What do you think? How? Women kind of dislike such men. They put such men on the friend zone. And you remember, you guys, if you're on the friend zone, oh, you've got a hard time, you know. You will never get out of the friend zone because you've got to be determined. You've got to be determined as to what you want, which restaurant, and then... You have to be determined as to what are you going to order and then order just that. Make up your mind very quickly. Sometimes women are not very decisive. They do not know what they would like to eat. Sometimes it's also better if you say, well, darling, what about this or this or this or this? You know, and I'm sure you like this. You know, give a, put a little bit of soft pressure on her to make the decision fast. And then do not change the decision. Even if you have ordered something you don't like, you made the decision. It's more important to make the decision and stick to it. Now remember, your motive and your aim is probably to take this lovely woman to your bed. Right? So, the next step is after a lovely date, is not to say, darling, shall we go to my place? No, your thoughts must be directed more or less in that direction. And then you must start using words that will weaken her resistance. You know, what are the words that can weaken a woman's resistance? No words. You should never mention things that will put her and make her up start and, and, and resist. Use words flow, that flow. Words like moist. Oh, the evening was so moist. Yeah, wasn't it? Moisture. Oh, yeah, it was kind of moist the evening. You know, the, the air is very moist. And all the food itself, it's kind of mushy. It's very soft and mushy. You know the word mushy? Soft, 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 tender. Oh, the meat is so tender. Words like tender, mushy, soft. Hey, hey, you guys, this is actually a secret. Huh? And you don't tell it to other guys. Because now if you use such words, you will, obviously, 
be successful. Because you want to get your date, you want to be successful today. But remember, no whining, no negative talk. And then, <laughs> one of the most decisive weapons for women is to keep smiling. Women love it when you smile. Because you look attractive when you smile, right? But don't grin, smile. That's the difference. And then... Make the woman laugh. Find out what are the things that make her laugh. Right? You find that out. Boys, I mean, that is your deal. Go about it. Do it. And if you can find the right note to make her laugh or smile, you've won the lady over. Women love to be with men who are, who spread a good vibes and who make the mood around them good. So if you can just find out ways of making your lady smile, you've won her. And then you've probably won her forever. Who knows? Then another important thing <laughs> is that you guys, very important, is not to speak about, hey, let's get married one day. Hey, let's have children. Hey, let's, you know, we belong to each other forever. Fuck it. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to say anything. But remember... No one belongs anywhere forever. Come on. Come off this. You know, this is a trap. Never, ever say to the lady, hey, you and I belong. You are the, the, the lid and I'm the pot. That's, that, that's bull. That's absolutely bull. There's no such thing. So when you're going out to the lady, make as if it's the only date that you have with her tonight. It is the only date. Tomorrow, I don't know. I don't know what happens tomorrow. Give her the idea that you are not so easy to be had. Even if she's the most pretty, the prettiest lady in front of you, remember, you must still be a little bit hard to get. And if you do that, you guys, remember? Decisiveness, aloofness. Aloofness is a little bit good, but not arrogance. I mean, you know, you guys, if you are arrogant, oh, you've lost it anyway. And remember, never look down on the lady. Never. Always, you know, your, your sight, your vision, you've got to look always like up to her. You've got to give her the feeling that she's taller than she is. And by doing that, you are lifting her up. You're making her feel good. You're making her feel good about yourself. But you are not telling her, hey, this is forever. Say things like, oh, I like your company. Don't come with this hot thing. Oh, I feel so in love with you. Oh, your eyes are so beautiful. Oh, your nose. Girls often hear that, you know, and they hate that. You are the prettiest girl in the world. Girls don't like that either. You know why? What the hell? They know that they are pretty. And so you don't mention things like that. Don't mention it. Because if you mention it, the, the, at the back of the lady's mind is... You just like the other guys. You just want me in your bed. Hmm. No, no, don't do that. If she's pretty, look at her and appreciate what you are seeing, right? But do not over compliment her on her face, her eyes, her hair, and things like that. Girls don't like that. They don't. And don't also make disparaging marks about yourself, you guys. Don't speak about whether you were slightly overweight. Accept you're overweight if you are slightly overweight. What the hell? You're still a great guy. If you start saying, oh, I'm too short, I'm too fat, I'm too overweight, I need to lose weight, I'm not muscular enough, and there's, oh, you land up in the friend zone immediately. And don't always be the nice guy. And if she says something that you disagree, please, you guys, for heaven's sake, don't agree with her. You know why? She wants someone who can stand on his own and sticks to his guns, his opinion. So do not change your opinion to suit her when she says, oh, I love, uh, let's say, folk music. Don't come with, oh, I love folk music too. That's bullshit, man. You don't even like folk music, right? So don't, don't come up with that. If she likes it, nice, honey, I love my rock music, right? 
you say what you like, but of course don't say what she likes is shit. That's very, very important. Don't do that. If she loves folk music and you don't like it, it's fine. Don't pull it down and don't agree with her. That's a very important thing because you don't want to have the symbiotic connection between you and her. She wants to be her own self and you want to be your own self. And you want to be attractive because you find her attractive. And attraction is also based on she being different and you being different. So stick to your guns. Be decisive. Be yourself. And if you are yourself, without putting yourself down, you will be up. Okay? So have good fun flirting. Have a wonderful fun. And you'll have a great time. You know, just enjoy the wonderful opposite sex. The wonderful ladies of this world. Okay? Go ahead and do it.